Hey YouTube, so here is my Crockett and Jones for Ralph Lauren Brown Shell Cordovan Shoe Collection. It's not all of them that they make available, but it's all of them that I have. Starting at the left, we have the, uh, the wingtip, which they call the Lindrick. So it's called the Ralph Lauren Lindrick. As you can see, it's nice shiny brown shell cordovan. Lined boot, unlined tongue. Got the pull tabs on the back. Interestingly, Ralph Lauren names their boots, but their shoes are all called the Marlow with within a specific uh, style. So in other words, closest to you, you have the, the Marlow plain toe blucher, then the wingtip blucher, then the tassel loafers. They also make... Um, some penny loafers, which I don't have, and then they also make a variety of, or they have made a variety of different other styles as well over the years. So this first one, the Lindrix, as you can see, it's, there's no uh, speed hooks, which the Giannis have next, next door there. The Lindrix instead have eyelets all the way up, which I think is a pretty cool style element. Nice perforations all the way around. Um, and these, as I've said in some of my other videos, my boots I wear like boots. Um, so in other words, I don't baby these at all. These uh, boots you're looking at here have actually gone through two winters now uh, here in Ohio. So lots of snow, lots of slush, rain, etc. Very nice, very nice boots. I'm very happy with them. Uh, they're very comfortable. These are size 11 and a half D boots. Uh, these are on the 325 last from Crockett and Jones. However, they do run a little bit larger than the shoes that they make in the 325 last. Um, here are the Giannis, again, same 325 last. See the speed hooks that I talked about. Interestingly, I have boots from Allen Edmonds, Alden, and now Crockett and Jones as well. And the the speed hooks that uh, Crockett and Jones have are very good. As you can see, they're very strong, no bending whatsoever. Um, I cannot say that about my Alden boots. Those tend to bend. Maybe I just lace them tighter than I should, or something. Um, these are actually going to be very similar in style to the, the Indie Boot that Alden makes available. But of course, the Indie Boot is on the True Balance last, which is a much fuller, wider last. Uh, these are size 11.5D also. And these are actually, they feel about a quarter size bigger even than the Lindrix do. So um, it, with thick socks, they're, they're just fine. But uh, if I was going to try to wear them with thinner, more dressy socks, that would not work at all. You can see some of the, the really great shell cordovan folds on the shaft of the boot there. Just phenomenal. Um, I, these are much taller than a lot of my other boots, and so you end up getting more folds. But these just really add some cool character, I think, to the boot itself. Again, you have fully lined upper, and then an unlined tongue. I'm not sure why they do that, but I noticed most of the manufacturers do that. So that's the Gianni. Um, very nice boot. And then here are my plain toe bluchers. Uh, these are actually the first of the Ralph Lauren line, or I should say the Crockett and Jones for a Ralph Lauren line that, that I ever bought. Um, these are not available on their website. Instead, you have to actually call up one of the stores or go to one of the stores and, uh, and see if they have these in stock. These are also on the 325 last. However, they are easily a half a size smaller for the same size than these are. So these are 11 and a half D, these are 12 D, and they fit almost identically, which is interesting. And I've noticed that um, for a variety of my shoes, and, and not just these uh, Crockett and Jones shoes, but also other shoes as well. Um, 
that it, really it can vary from pair to pair how tightly they they last the shoes so uh, anyway so that's the plain toe blucher these are i'm thinking here uh, these are three and a half years old at this point i think if i did my math right so lots of lots of good wearing um, you can really start to see some patina starting uh, interestingly and i had no idea if this is a side effect of the leather interacting with the eyelets or if it's something that I'm doing in the care of the shoes. But you see the green stuff that's forming around the exposed eyelets as it, as it contacts the shell cordovan itself. Um, I'm seeing that on these particular shoes, which as I said are the oldest out of any of them I have. But then these are, uh, these are the Giannis here. These are not showing that at all, and neither are the Windrix. So I don't know if they have remedied the problem, if it's simply something that comes with age, um, or if it's something that I did or they did as they were, they or I were treating uh, these plain toe bluchers from the factory. But the, really the only thing that I do to care for any of these shoes is a damp rag, brush, and then maybe once every 18 months, and I'm serious about that, about 18 months, I, uh, I use some sort of a treatment, whether it's a brown um, a paste wax, or in the past I have used um, some Saphir Renovateur, which I've referenced in some of the other videos that I do. Uh, but at any rate, they, they come up very nice, as you can see, based on the fact you're seeing a reflection of me in the cap or in the, uh, the toe of that, that plain toe bleacher. So then here's the wingtip blucher and this is a really a, a nice shoe i really enjoy these shoes very similar as you can see to the lindrick in style has the same the same perfing in the toe same design this is a short wing blucher which means that the wing ends here i'll do a review or i have done a review of, of my my uh, Allen Edmonds McNeils, which are long wings. So this is a short wing blucher, which isn't all that common. Um, and actually these, these are workhorses. I, I just came back from a business trip and ended up wearing these four days in a row uh, on concrete, sidewalks, all kinds of stuff. And um, got back, hit them with a damp rag and a brush, and you'd never know it by looking at them that uh, I abused them like that, maybe except for the toe, now that I'm looking at these. So, uh, but that's something sim simple to, to fix there. And then here are the tassel loafers, which is not on the 325 last. All these other shoes are on the 325 last. Um, the tassel loafers are on the 314 last, I think. Very different, obviously. Still a nice thick double sole. But they do not have the reverse storm welt here. Instead, it's just a regular welt. Um, and I haven't really looked at that. So we have a reverse storm welt on the wingtips. Same thing on the plain toes. Same things on the Giannis. And then also the wingtip boots, which they call the Lindrix. Um, but yeah, so the tassel loafer is uh, not a reverse welt. And I have not worn these yet, so you can get a sense for kind of the finishing details that Crockett and Jones uses on their shoes. As, you know, compared to my oldest pair here, which, uh, which I've seen some good wear. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, I know that you know, the brown shell cordovan is all the rage, and this dark brown, which which uh, Crockett and Jones makes available in this line through Alf Lauren, is hard to come by. Um, in a future video, I will compare this against Alan Edmonds' brown shell cordovan, and then also I have a pair of Alden cigars, uh, not cigars, but cigar-colored cap toes that I will use in the comparison video as well. So... 
Again, very nice shoes. As far as, as ranking the shoe makers, a lot of people get into that. You know, I think you can get a good pair or a bad pair from any of them. I, I think you're more likely to get a good pair probably from Crockett and Jones. I think there seems to be more attention to detail, uh, at least based on my my experience, which I, I think I've, I've got about 25 or 26 pair of uh, Shell Cordovan shoes. So that's a decent size experience, I guess, a decent set with, by which you can you can uh, prepare some conclusions. So at any rate, this video is already 10 minutes long. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, post them up. And if you want to see specific in more detail reviews, let me know that too. Thanks.